Let's hear nut jokes. We, you know, we feel good, man. What's, what's up? What's up? It's Paul. We are walk out reactions, and today we thought it's nice out. We're feeling good, and you know, I'm wearing Dean Ambrose, aka John Moxley, aka John Goodman, the best wrestler to ever wrestle, right? Definitely the best. But, anyways, guys, uh, John Moxley is the best, but besides that point, he's one of the band that fell downhill. They, they, they came back a little bit, but they're still not there. But, guys, what we're here today is let's get to it, shall we? We're here. We're going to talk about the best albums of 2020 so far. Just a couple. Just because we wanted to talk to you guys and give you guys our thoughts in about some music. Well, you know, why not? Got the one-inch gauges back in. It's got the 22s in. It's not like a gun. The 22s. Ha! <laughs> 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 They're falling out of my face. This feels boring. <laughs> well, we have to get to the topic, you idiots. Our best album? Alright, uh, so this is what I think. So far, we're going to rank the best five albums of 2020. Now, I'll give them my list first because, you know, my taste is 10 times better. Yeah, All right. no Guys, this guy we probably just going to add films I'm up in there, and that's just a disgrace. It, it might be up there. Alright, so for me... Number one album of 2020 so far, by far, is definitely Ad Infinitum. Yes, Ad Infinitum's newest album is definitely the best album of 2020. I mean, it's Melissa fucking Bonnie, guys. And her voice is so incredible. She can do anything. The fucking beautiful music they make, the lyrics, the meaning. That whole album is just indescribable. It is so good and so talented. Everything about it is purely amazing. It is a 10 out of a 10 I loved every minute of that album, but that's my number one album. Uh, we're gonna go to his number one album now. Out of everybody, who has the number one album? Wait, who was your list? Well, I didn't do the five. We're going in order: one, one, two, two. I said the number one album of this year is Ant Oh, easy answer. It, it, it's a close call. The Armor Wars is number one this year. At least said the word a lot. No, as I said, it's Armor Wars. But it's a hard choice. I think Armor Wars. Wow! Is. Why? How could you do that? You know, Wait, you can't. Wait, that come, that come out 19 or this year? Did it come out for sure this year? I thought it did. It wasn't 19. No, it was this year. Oh. It was, it was barely by it, though, because I remember that it did come. It came out barely. It almost came out 2019, but I think, yeah, that was 2020. Yeah, so Tell them why. The, the sound. Every, every, the, there's really not one bad song on that album. That's really the album of the map. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll give them my number two now. What he said. Armor Ross was the second best album of 2020 by far. Uh, but, you know, it was between them and the world line. There's a couple other ones in there, honestly, but I have to put Armor Ross in there. Like he said, the meaning, the depression music, the vocalists, like everything about that album has been replayable since day one. Like my last days. Get it? This song, my last days. All right, num all right, who's your number two album of the year? We're alive. Why are they both the only ones you could recommend for one and two? All right, why? Same thing with Armor Wars. I mean, they're not, they're not really into, like, it's a Preston sound and more, like, I like, guess, break up songs. But overall, the, the lyrics, the sound, vocals, everything about that album is amazing. <laughs> All right, so, my number three album. Now, this one's hard. Oh, the Word of Life is, of course, one of the people I have debated for that number three spot. But I have to look at a few of the others. Alright, who all came up this year? We got Trivium. That's definitely, um, that's a good album. I can't put that in the top five this year. Who else was there? Uh, there's a few. Oh, Amity. Oh, Paul and P Polaris. There's a few other ones. Who else? I don't want to leave somebody out. And say, oh, shit, you put them in there. They, but I know it's too late now. Oh, don't look. But I already know my number three is, honestly, after remembering all those albums. It's, 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 oh, I can't say the word. Polaris? It's Polaris, yeah, Zachary, you heard me. Polaris is definitely number three. I mean, when you guys shit like fucking waves 
All this is fleeting. Match just. Uh, I go on and on over my head. That one was purely amazing without a doubt. Wait, wasn't Matt Omens this year? No, that was actually 19. I found that out. Oh. Uh, but yeah, uh, Pol Pol Polaris, without a doubt, guys. That was an incredible, fucking forceful, heavy, meaningful. I could throw every word in for Polaris's album. Uh, definitely third album for me. Yeah, who was your third album on this year? I was heard all about them. Sits apart. I forgot. Yeah, that. What's your, I'm surprised that you're top two. I, I forgot about uh, it. Well, that was just top five, I guess. Sits apart, definitely. Yeah, I mean, Trippie Halo was a bad track. I and mean, the other ones were, they were a little pumpy-ish. But overall, this album, to me, was amazing. All right? You had Lost. You had, uh... My Demon. My Demon. Uh... uh What's the one called? The other one? Dirty Little Secret. Yeah, Dirty Little Secret. There was a matter. There was another one missing too. Oh yeah, uh, the what's the one called? I the name of it. Straight Jacket. Dead Roses. That's what I was thinking. And Straight Jacket. Uh, that was okay. Skin. The skin. Yeah, I see. Like, all those songs are amazing. So I said, all those songs are straight up amazing. So that is definitely a top five album for you this year. Definitely. I'm gonna go with my fourth one here. I believe Sister Bar just doesn't make the cut for me. <laughs> It's a great album. I love Mixie and Cinch of Heart, but this is way too many good albums this year. Number four, I have to say, it's the Ambient Function. <laughs> that album, I can't make that album out, dude. Especially like with tracks like, uh, what's that, that favorite one? We always, I always said the number one song, You and Me is definitely love. The, the Bleach one? No. All I Do Is Sink. Yeah, All I Do Is Sink. Dude, one of the best songs does in 20 without a doubt, dude. So, Me and Bleach, um, we're gonna track list stuff for me here. Go to the album, Amity's album. Go to the track list. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. My brain isn't all working. This is very thin. Amity. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Amity Affliction. Uh, newest album. Everybody loves you once you leave. I need the track list, dog. Click on that right there. Now face it this way. All right, guys. Yeah. Uh, all my friends is dead. I don't know. I forgot that one. Took me and bleach. All I do is sing. Baltimore Rain was one of the most amazing songs I think I've ever heard forever. The rest is whatever. But those songs, all those songs I mentioned, dude. What about the last one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's a good one, too. Uh, but yeah, man, like, just a great album. I had to put in top five. Who's your number four album? Like, I don't know. Samity Making It All, or like Polaris, uh, Trivium. Do you like Trivium's album? Do you think it is, is it good enough to be in this top five or no? If Alaska to take a hundred years, they'd be on this list definitely for me. But. I think number four for me is. I already know number five is. You're going to completely disagree with my number five. Okay. Number four, I think, I think it's Anne with an A. Now, why? I don't know. I mean, yeah, you know, the. Uh, uh, so me and Bleach. All I do is sing. All Baltimore sing. Rain. Yeah, I hate Baltimore Rain first, but I didn't grow on me. All My Friends are Dead. Yeah, that one. Forever. Yeah. Like, so, I mean. I want to say, I don't know, it's heavier than the last album. <coughs> Definitely way heavier. But there's certain songs that... <coughs> like a loneliness, that was horrible. Driving by the late, that, 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 was, that was one of the best songs on the last album. So that's number four for you. Yeah, definitely. So, number five for me, uh, I think it's quite easy here. Actually, it's not, because there's still quite a bit of albums out, and I can't put everything in here. Like, Sister of Heart, they deserve to be in here, but I can't, because there's one more album, and I cannot leave it out. It comes out next month, and I haven't heard it but one song. I'm oh, sorry, Evan S's album is in this list, okay? Yes, I've only heard their new song, but I don't. it's Evan Essence. I'd be stupid to leave her out. Wait, so is that man from Ashes new in this list? Is this the well, well, they don't have a release date. Hers is already next oh. month, so it's about to come out. So I'm just throwing it in there. Yes, there's a few I couldn't get in there, and it's sad because there's a lot of other great albums in 2020. Like, um... Um, 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 like, Sitch of I could fit them in here. I know, I couldn't, Triviums, I actually like it a lot. I think their album's really good, but I can't put Trivium in here neither. And, uh, I know there's a few more than we read. Oh, yeah, dude, uh, Ignea, you don't like her, but I loved her new album. I thought it was really good. 
And there's a lot, there's a couple other albums that came out I can't think of that were amazing, but Evanescence by far is in there. And the reason it's at five is because I only heard one and I don't even know what the rest of it sounds like, but I believe it deserves a top five spot. So Evanescence, newest album that comes out in May, is in my number five album of 2020. I think that was a horrible choice, personally. I don't, but okay, let's see here's five. Now, I had two bands planned for this number five spot. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. If we ask, Polaris is not the one. Wow! Oh wow! That's that's just stupid. That would be spirit ball. You stupid! How are you gonna put Polaris in the fucking top five, which was one of the best albums I've ever heard? But okay. Now, honestly, spirit balls are so right with this. Yeah, they unfortunately, they're nowhere near yet. Yeah. So if both of them had an album, but I decided. It is. Uh, so, two bands. Okay. I'm sorry, it's up for the time. Trivium. And you're going to have this one. Or Framing Handling. No, I was thinking. Whoa, I, for, I, I forgot about that album. It's just so irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> that, that album doesn't make it all fine. I think Trivium is, album is too new for me. So, my number five spot was Framing Handling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. What? So let's tell you. Joke on us. Uh, Art of Forgiveness. Uh, puzzle pieces. Uh, there's, there's one or two. Bubbles is eh, I sound weird. But you know, those ones are good. So it, I think it deserves that top five spot for that reason. So that's your list. That's my top five. They had no other for them either, JJ, for you for, for your ass. Wow, that's a disgrace. Should be the top ten, though. Wow. All right, so guys, that was our top five. Uh, of course, mine was better. God, that was bad. Drop a comment below. Whose list did you agree with? My top five or his top five? And if you don't know any of those bands we just put on our top five albums of 2020, go check them out, please. All amazing bands. And uh, like I said, drop comments below. That was what you thought of list. Uh, did you think that there were some other ones we should have put in there, but we didn't put in there because we just didn't, couldn't? But, you know. And are you excited for Evanescence to do our next month much as I am? What's it on you? The new track is out right now on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Music, wherever. Go check out Evanescence Wasted on You. Right? No. Yes. He hates Evanescence, but I love Amy Lee and that band. Been a fan since the beginning. But guys, yeah, man. Uh, so just do that. And that's all we got for you till next time. I'm Paul. I'm Keep the horns banging, baby, and keep rocking